you good programs to serve their communities. Radio is better than ever in targeting an audience that listens to what you say. Learn more about this exciting radio broadcasting opportunity by calling WNZK Radio at 248-557-3500. This is WNZK, Dearborn Heights, Detroit. Your ethnic superstation of 690 days, 680 nights. Welcome to the Bright Side of Aging. My name is Ike Engelbaum. I'm a pharmacist and the publisher of AmericanSeniorGazette.org. It has been wisely said, you cannot help getting older, but you can help getting old. It has also been said that age is a matter of the mind. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. My purpose in doing this show is so that seniors and caregivers can share their ideas and questions on how we can age gracefully and in a vertical position for as long as our good genes will allow. And if we've inherited bad genes, how to outwit them. Our topics include... Senior housing, financial, legal, safety, travel, health issues, interesting senior events in the community, and most of all, tips on how to put old on hold. Do you like snacks? Well, why don't you try the Auri Bakery folks that have now created three new flavors of gluten-free granolas, maple vanilla, blueberry, and toffee chocolate, all sold in 16-ounce bags for just $4.99. All new is Ori's cinnamon pull-apart made with Danish dough and rich cinnamon filling. It's great with coffee or milk and hard to stop eating. You will find all these items at the Ari Bakery Market on Farmington Road between I-96 and Plymouth Road in Livonia. Try it out. As Jackie Gleason used to say, how sweet it is. For over 30 years, Cruise Hearing and Service has helped thousands of people improve their hearing and enjoy the sounds of their life again. If you don't hear as well as you like, Cruise Hearing can help you. They have actually hearing aids that the batteries do not need to be recharged. And they also have a caption phone that you can view for free. And also the phone, if you're over 65, is available to you free. So any phone calls you get, you can see captioned if you don't hear that well. They've got other stuff. If you'd like the free cookbook, call 1-888-489-8980 that's available. You can call Cruise Hearing Direct at 877-456-2789. The number direct is 877-456-2789. And how sweet it is to have Robin Danto from Michigan State Extension University on the line. And uh, Robin really hops around. In fact, Robin, with your name, do you fly around or do you walk around? (laughs) Uh, I wish I could fly and and get around the traffic. That would be nice. Lots of closures, lots of uh, construction, but Uh, I just drive around anywhere in Oakland County. Wow, uh, unbelievable. Uh, uh, the good news is, is there's actually some uh, indication that the roads are in better shape now in certain areas than they ever were before. So it's at least nice to see something. <laughs> but yeah. construction is a challenge, and I know you have a limited amount of time, so I don't want to tie you up. Uh, you're a, a busy person, so for those folks that uh, have not had the pleasure of knowing you. Why don't you introduce yourself as to what your day job is and your title and all that stuff. Go ahead. (laughs) 
Okay. Well, my name is Robin Danto. I work for the County of Oakland through the MSU Extension Office. I teach disease prevention and wellness, um, nutrition, food safety, anything that has to do with food, anything with food access. I help people get food. I help teach safe ways to pre- preserve food and try and teach people how to stay healthy mm. with their diet. Well, I'll tell you, uh, diet, there's no question about it. There's absolutely uh, vital next to exercise. I don't want to throw you off track, but I have uh, heard several prominent cardiologists uh, say that uh, diet is essential, no doubt, but exercise is also as important, if not as important as uh, the diet. What are your thoughts on that? Do you feel that uh, health... Absolutely. Absolutely. Exercise is so important for so many parts of our body and for staying young. Um, there's different types of exercise. We want resistance. We want cardio. And we should really be moving more. Even when we're sitting, we can be moving. We can if you're busy watching television, you can be lifting water bottles or cans of corn and just keep your your muscles moving. The more movement you get, the better you're going to be. I don't want to sound corny. <laughs> anyway, the thing <laughs> is, is that if you, you exercise with corn, if uh, it seems a little bit too heavy, you can eat the corn and then keep going. <laughs> but just a thought. Right. <laughs> In fact, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, and before uh, we go on, I'd like for you to repeat your phone number because I've had the privilege of talking to you over the years and you know your stuff. So what phone number would you like to give out for people to get a hold of you? The best number to reach me at, because I am moving around all the time and not in the office much these days, mm-hmm. is 248-215-6307. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and repeat- that is the... That's also the phone number for the Oakland County Food Safety Hotline. If you have any questions about how to keep your food safe, with the power outages last week, a lot of people were concerned about what's safe, what they need to throw out, what they can refreeze, um, or or just how to keep it, what's safe to eat. Um, you can call me anytime, and mm-hmm. I'll help you out with questions like that, too. And that phone number is 248 248- Two one five six three zero seven. Uh, tell me, uh, I'm glad you uh, brought up these outages and stuff. Uh, if someone is in doubt about a food that uh, is not really looking as good as they thought it should after the outage, can they call you uh, for you to give them guidance as to whether to uh, pitch it or not? <laughs> is that the absolutely? Of- Mm-hmm. I will share all my expertise with them. Um, there's some things, you know, even even after an outage for a period of time, will be safe and you can still use. Sometimes the quality won't be quite as good as it would have been had it been under refrigeration all the time. But there are some things that we definitely would need to throw out. Um, and I'd be happy to help anybody with anything like that. Sometimes your refrigerator just goes on the fritz and you need help with things like that. Mm-hmm. So give yeah. me a call if you have those questions. It's 248-215-6307. And uh, I uh, believe you have literature available as well uh, for uh, some of the basics in terms of food storage. Is that correct? Yes, I do. Uh, so uh, that's a good number to hang on to. And, of course, I like to uh, include my toll-free number one eight 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 four eight nine eight nine eight zero. When you can't get a hold of Robin directly, that's one of the features that I provide through the toll-free number one eight 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 four eight nine eight nine eight zero. It costs me a few more bucks for the service, but if you press number one, 
the uh, uh, connection can be made directly to me. And if I'm not on the phone already, uh, you can call me seven days a week. And uh, if you call me at three in the morning, as long as my wife doesn't get upset, I'll be glad to talk to you then, too. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, what I'm impressed about is with all your activities and running around on Wednesdays, as we speak, you're at a farmer's market uh, out there in your, uh, near your office. Is that correct? I'm at a farmer's market today in Oak Park. Oh, in Oak Park. Um, there's a nice community farmer's market in Oak Park Wednesdays from 9 to 2. I have all kinds of information. Um, we're doing a special program called The Power of Produce that's trying to get people to eat local, eat healthy, get more fruits and vegetables and all the different colors of the rainbow into their diet. So that's on As We Speak till 2 o'clock today, and what's the location? They are on Coolidge, um, right in front of the Oak Park High School, between 9 and 10 Mile. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think that's right around Lincoln Road, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, uh, you shouldn't have any difficulty. I assume there's signage there. Uh, uh, is that there's correct? signs. You'll see the tents, hmm. um, lots of cars, lots of people. It's a nice, friendly market with lots of good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple of vendors that take the Senior Market Fresh coupons if you have those. Mm -hmm. And if you're eligible and you don't have those, you can call me and I'll try and get those to you as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. um, those are vouchers that you can use to buy fresh, unprocessed fruits and vegetables at farmer's markets. Wow. Uh, that's on today till 2 o'clock. And uh, is that going to be the same location next Wednesday, or do you hopscotch? It, well, it is. It's every Wednesday from now through sometime in October. Hmm. Um, but I go to many different markets. I go to the Oakland County Farmers Market in Waterford. Hmm. I go to the Farmington Market in downtown Farmington. Hmm. Um, there's a Clarkston Market. There's a... Rochester Market, um, Royal Oak Market. I go all over. Yeah, like you, you said before. You, you practice what you preach. You move. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. Well, so uh, yesterday I was out at the Oakland County Fair. Even. Oh wow, wow. Well, at least it sounds like a fun way of spending the day, even though it's raining. That must have been fun. <laughs> uh, it was still fun. We had a good time. Yeah, right. Well, uh, so this is uh, homegrown uh, fruits and vegetables, is that correct? That right. You have at the it's farm the freshest, the freshest, best tasting, most nutritious produce you're going to find yeah. is going to be at the farmer's market. Right. It was picked either this morning very early or last night. It doesn't get any fresher than that. Yeah. It lasts longer than what you get in the grocery store, and it also helps to um, support our local economy. Hmm. Wow, that's fantastic. In fact, uh, I uh, am trying to spruce up uh, our uh, webpage. Uh, it's under construction, as they say, but if you'll uh, email me and uh, keep me posted as to which markets are available, I, ideally the ones that you're at uh, would be fun for people to try to attend. Because uh, they can ask you questions as well as uh, uh, get a good deal on fresh fruits and vegetables. And I can't think of a more fun way to spend a day in Michigan than to really appreciate what stuff we have here. And the one thing that I've, you know, come to appreciate more and more is how... Uh, different the taste there is if it's a fresh <laughs> vegetable versus a uh, yeah, refrigerated and shipped vegetable. <laughs> right. Uh, it's right. A lot of the things that are in the grocery store are weeks and weeks old mm -hmm. by the time they're picked and um, they transported mm -hmm. and then to a distribution center. They, right. you know, there is there's a big difference. And once you taste what available at the farmer's market, 
It's hard to go back to the grocery store. Right. Well, I may catch up with you if you're going to be there uh, for till two. I'm not quite sure if I can work it out, but uh, uh, the uh, location is very convenient for me because I'm about uh, 15 minutes away right now. So that is marvelous. Uh-huh. I'm so glad. And I assume the prices are uh, competitive uh, as far as the vegetables uh, compared to a supermarket, or is it a little bit higher? They are. They are. Sometimes they're a little slightly higher, mm-hmm. um, but you are supporting your local economy. Most of that money is reinvested in our local economy. And then also keep in mind that these fruits and vegetables are going to last longer. You're not going to be throwing out a cucumber because it's mushy next week. Right. It will last until you eat it. Right. Because it is so fresh. Well, you know, uh, that's a vital point because that is uh, really, uh, uh, you know, critical. If you're throwing out stuff that you bought at a better price, it's no big, <laughs> it's no big bargain. <laughs> right, you're not saving any money that way, right? You're, lo- you're, losing, <laughs> you're losing money and losing taste. <laughs> anyway, if you right. want, if Absolutely. you want to <laughs> talk to somebody tasteful, Call Robin Danto 248-215-6307. And if she's not moving at the time you call, she'll talk to you. Is that right, Robin? (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) All right, Robin. I'll let you get back to the fruits and vegetables, uh, which are probably more enjoyable than talking to me. Have a great day and enjoy the day, and we'll talk Hopefully next week, if your schedule allows it. Right now, we're going to okay. Uh, we'll uh, uh, talk soon, and right now we'll take a brief break. And we've got a dynamite two o one, the uh, and two knowledgeable and interesting, and I might add, lovable people. Lou Goutman, who you've heard many times on the show, because he's Mr. Encyclopedia, and a, a uh, Amy Grzymkowski, Grzymkowski, and if you're Polish, it's really Grzymkowski, but we'll discuss that after our brief break, <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Family run for over 88 years. Friends Hardware has remained family-owned and operated. Friends Hardware is one of a kind. You'll find the newest products offered on TV at very competitive prices. You'll also find safety products, grab bars for bathrooms, battery-operated light switches, remote control devices that you can turn your lamps on or any electrical device. You don't have to run out there anymore. Just press the button. Better yet, just visit Friends Hardware, located on Main Street at uh, and 11 and a half mile road. Uh, they're open every day. If you wish to call, it's 248-544-8111. That's 248-544-8111. Better yet, just visit 11 and a half mile road and Main Street Friends Hardware. And we're back, and we're back with a duo. As I mentioned, Lou Goutman and Amy Grzymkowski. And uh, Lou Goutman, as you may well know, is uh, a regular on the show, and he's also the CEO of our Entrepreneurs Network of Michigan. And uh, he has some fantastic ideas of you're interested in building or starting your own business as to how to not just uh, sort of thrive, <laughs> survive, but actually thrive. So uh, uh, I can't uh, describe all his talents myself. So why don't I have Lou Goutman say hello and give us your 60-second elevator pitch, and then we can uh, interview a guest that you uh we're actually able to get us today, and it sounds like a terrific opportunity. So, hello, Lou. <laughs> Good morning, Ike. Good morning, everybody. Uh, yes, my name is Lou Goutman. I, I own and operate a 
a marketing and printing company, uh, advertising alternatives. And if you call Ike's magic number of uh, 888-489-8980, he can put you in touch with me. Um, But in the time remaining, because I'm looking at the clock, and uh, uh, I want to introduce, and I'm uh, privileged and honored to introduce Amy Grzymkowski, who is the uh, Human Resources Manager and Marketing Manager for the West Oakland Transportation Authority. Um, Amy has a marketing degree from Oakland University, and she, she served as the director of the Highland White Lake Business Association, as well as having volunteered on several boards for nonprofit organizations. Uh, she's been with the organization since its inception uh, in 2020. Now, this is a this is a nonprofit organization, Ike that is a door-to-door, on-demand, paratransit organization for seniors and disabled adult residents from the townships of Highland, White Lake, Waterford, and the city of Walt Lake. So with that, uh, I would like to introduce Amy, and uh, she'll tell us a little bit more. So Amy, say hi and good morning. Well, good morning, Ike and Lou. It is very good to be with you today. Um, as you so graciously said, we are WODA. That's our uh, acronym, but we like to call ourselves WODA. And we are an on, a door-to-door, on-demand, paratransit organization. And what that basically means is that our residents call us, and then we schedule a pickup time for them, and we take them to whatever they need to get to. And when we say paratransit, we mean that we are um, accessible, whether you are able to walk on your own, have a walker of some form, have a wheelchair. Um, we are able to transport um, any of our, um, anyone, I shouldn't say anyone, but there are some parameters, but we are able to trans- any, uh, transport people of all, um, have all forms of accessibility. Right. And, and again, uh, this is a this is a, um, a not for profit organization. This is uh, the, the, you're publicly financed, uh, and um, there is a cost, however, involved a, a nominal cost compared to a taxi service or Lyft or Uber. So why don't you tell us about that a little bit, please, Amy? Sure. So Woda was uh, started because these um, the Highland. White Lake Waterford, they all had a senior disabled adult transportation program, one or two vans. The problem with that is it wasn't able to meet the needs of the communities. And so the three township supervisors got together along with the executive director of WODA, and they created this organization. It's technically a nonprofit. It's also technically a government entity because the funding that we receive is uh, from each of these communities, and um, as well as some additional grants and state funds. Um, we do have a small fee. Uh, it's a $2.50 um, per stop. So if you go from your home to your doctor and then your doctor to home, it's $5 round trip. Very reasonable. Um, however, the program was meant to be um, available to these residents with the idea that at some point other townships, other cities would join. And in 2001, that's exactly what happened. The beginning of 2001, the city of Wild Lake said, we want to be a part of this as well. We had been uh, servicing them from a um, a vendor relationship, and they said, no, we want to be part of the board. And so um, they joined our board in 2021. And our goal, though, is to have additional communities come on board because we recognize that senior transportation and rural senior transportation is valuable. Um, Without transportation and any kind of mobility, you have barriers to not just employment for many of our uh, riders, but also for health care and for just societal inclusion. So for us, um, being able to provide transportation means that we are able to sustain independence for our residents, and for some of our younger disabled uh, riders, we're able to help them develop independence. 
And we know that goes a long way in our communities. Right. And, and again, I want to stress uh, again for those listeners who uh, maybe just be tuned, uh, might just be tuning in that this is a door to door service. So the, the, you're not waiting out on the, on a busy street in inclement weather or in hot sunny weather, uh, waiting for a bus. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, but, but for certain individuals that can be tough if they have underlying health uh, conditions. And also, of course, the, the convenience is there uh, to, to get the door-to-door service. Um, and Amy, I, 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 once again, I know this right now, uh, it's limited communities, but there are counterparts in some of the other communities. Uh, you and I were talking yesterday about the North Oakland uh, Transportation Association. I know that you have you know, a, 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 an organizational relationship with them, so... Uh, you know, the listener should know that um, even if they if they live in one of the other communities, they may have a similar service available through a, a, a sister organization. Is that right? That is correct. And most, and I, most, or I would say maybe many communities have uh, a transportation, a senior disabled transportation program. Uh, so if if WODA cannot meet your needs, I would encourage you to contact your township or your city to see what types of transportation they have that are specific for seniors and disabled adults. Because paratransit, that's what we call um, when you have our handicap accessible um, and demand, on demand, door to door, because that's also very important. Um, that is available from, through many communities, but you really should contact your individual um, government authority and ask them about that. And if, you're, and if your township or your city does not have this, um, then maybe they need to give WODA a call. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Talk to your, talk to your city or township representatives, the trustees on the board, or the township supervisor, or the mayor, or the city manager, as the case may be. Um, Amy, let's give out the phone number as, so that uh, for people who are in your um uh, it, um, your region can uh, get a hold of uh, somebody and uh, start using your service. Absolutely. We are at 248-887-4979, or you can find us on the web at RideWOTA, R-I-D-E-W-O-T-A dot org. Hmm. Right. And, and once again, what's that phone number? 248? 248 887 4979. 4979, okay. And again, it's ridewota.org, is that right? That is correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. And again, for for those, for the, for the regular listeners, of course, you can, all, again, always call Ike's magic number, toll free. Uh, from anywhere in North America, 888-489-8980. I, I'm, by the clock on the wall, we have maybe one or two more minutes left. Is there anything you'd like to uh, jump in and, and say or comment about? Well, thank you. It was a great interview, and i really impressed uh, with all of the services because you're 100% right, uh, especially if you have a challenge to be able to have transportation. Uh, it's mm-hmm. uh, vital, and uh, I hate to put you on the spot, uh, but uh, do you mind, uh, in all due respect, I uh, uh, tried calling some of these townships, and not to badmouth them, some are good and some are not so good. Do you mind if people call 248-887-4979 and you can pitch in to, to get them on track, so to speak? <laughs> <laughs> is that too much? <laughs> Absolutely. We are, <laughs> however, WOTA can be of service to the township um, if they would like to explore how they can have a transportation program like WOTA or partner with WOTA, we would be happy to speak to any of the government entities that um, that your listeners might be a part of because, um, quite frankly, uh, transportation is, it truly is critical as human beings, the idea of having mobility, um, especially when you live in the motor city, 
mm-hmm. is critical. And yeah. so, um, Woda, this has been one of those jobs that, um, has been incredibly endearing to me because I hear the, um, the, the gratitude uh, of our writers and I am humbled by the fact that we can provide this service, which to me should be just, we should all consider it essential. So if there's a way that Woda can help, you're happy to do that. All right. Wonderful. And I salute your efforts and I have gratitude that you're around. <laughs> and unfortunately, we run out of time. We'll talk again soon. And I only have enough time for my favorite parting thought for this segment, which is, yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. And that's why we call it the present. Please enjoy your present by looking and living life with the bright side of aging. Welcome to the Entrepreneur's Network Radio Show. Our mission is to interview successful entrepreneurs who are willing to share with us their ideas and experiences, both the successes and the failures. Because as it has been jokingly said, you should learn from the mistakes of others because you'll never live long enough to make them all yourself. My name is Ike Engelbaum. And I'm the founder of the Entrepreneurs Network of Michigan, which is a group of motivated people that are all interested in helping each other and achieving our personal and professional goals. Please check out our website, entrepreneursnetworkofmichigan.com, for meeting schedule as well as self-improvement material. Our philosophy is that if it's to be, it's up to me. Do you like snacks? Well, why don't you try the Auri Bakery folks that have now created three new flavors of gluten-free granolas. Maple vanilla, blueberry, and toffee chocolate. All sold in 16-ounce bags for just $4.99. All new is Auri's cinnamon pull-apart made with Danish dough and rich cinnamon filling. It's great with coffee or milk and hard to stop eating. You will find all these items at the Ari Bakery Market on Farmington Road between I-96 and Plymouth Road in Livonia. Try it out. As Jackie Gleason used to say, how sweet it is. For over 30 years, Cruise Hearing and Service has helped thousands of people improve their hearing and enjoy the sounds of their life again. If you don't hear as well as you'd like, Cruise Hearing can help you. They have actually hearing aids that the batteries do not need to be recharged. And they also have a caption phone that you can view for free. And also the phone, if you are over 65, is available to you free. So any phone calls you get, you can see captioned if you don't hear that well. Hey, they've got other stuff. If you'd like the free cookbook, call 1-888-489-8980. That's available. You can call Cruise Hearing Direct at 877 456 Two seven eight nine. The number direct is eight seven seven four five six two seven eight nine. And welcome to the Entrepreneurs Network. And sticking to our title, entrepreneur, we've got a really a phenomenal entrepreneur, and uh, he's also an author, and he's a motivational speaker, and. Uh, as I like to say, if you want to be right on, you should get to know Randy Wright. <laughs> and Randy Wright is uh, not only a motivational speaker and author, but he actually does professional business consulting. You know, one of the biggest problems entrepreneurs make is that uh, they feel they can do everything themselves and feel guilty if they ask 
for help. And it's been said in many different ways, uh, but the one thing that the bottom line is, is that asking for help is not a weakness, it's a strength. But having said that, you also should remember that if you're asking, don't limit yourself to asking someone who may not really be qualified enough to help what you have done. That's why we have our Zoom meetings right now. We're planning on going live. We are live on the Zoom meetings, don't get me wrong. Our next meeting is next Tuesday, July the 20th, from 12 noon to 1 p.m. If uh, you uh, dial in on a classic Zoom uh, number, it will give you the meeting ID number, but better yet, uh, we can put you on our contact list if you call our toll-free number, one 489 That's one 489 And I can put you in touch with uh, Randy right direct. Randy, uh, being an author, has written several books. And uh, he uh, recently co-authored a book on starting over. It's on Amazon. And then he's also written other books. So why don't I have Randy introduce himself, as we like to say, with a 60-second elevator pitch and give us uh, the prior book as well. Hello, Randy. <laughs> Hello, good morning, good morning, Ike. Uh, Always glad to be here with you. I'm just, um, I'm a person who loves to help people achieve their goals and dreams by lifting them to a higher level, personal uh, development as well as professional development. And um, as I said through the books that I have, 25 Ways to Release the Greatness in You, knowing that greatness starts the moment that you decide to achieve a worthwhile goal or dream that burns in your heart day and night. And then you can start over wherever you're at in life. You can start over again. Both of those books are available on Amazon.com. Uh, starting over again is also available in, in uh, an ebook form. But just glad to be here today and just, um, hope to say something to inspire our radio listening audience this morning as entrepreneurs that um, want to do something with their lives. I want to mm-hmm. talk about today, go beyond the dream. Go beyond the dream. Mm-hmm. And uh, what does that topic mean? <laughs> well, go beyond the dream, first of all, means a lot of times we have dreams that are in our mind, and, and we've seen ourselves doing them, and, and we have them locked up in there. But now... Going beyond that dream and making it become a reality. Going beyond the dream means that you're fully committed to the purpose and the process. Did you catch that? That you're fully committed to the purpose and the process. The purpose of your dream is the reason why you are doing it. The process of your dream is a series of actions or steps taken to achieve a particular end. So you must be willing to endure the early stages of failure, disappointment, setbacks, maybe a, a shortage of money. Uh, maybe you can't. Maybe you have a dream or idea. You want somebody to fund it, but you don't have the funding right now. And sometimes you have to deal with non-cooperation from from people who you thought would help you. And one thing about going beyond the dream is sometimes you got to realize that dreams take time. They take time. I don't care how 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 you want it to happen overnight; it doesn't. It involves planning, execution. Let me ask you a question: What strategies do you have in place, or who's advising you, or mentoring you in the process of taming your dreams? So that's what it means to go beyond the dream. And like you said a little while ago, sometimes. We need, we need to ask people to help. Hey, can you just, you know, share an idea or listen to what I have to say? Can you refer me to somebody? All of these are very important in order to go beyond the dream. 
Hmm. Well, uh, I always give out my toll-free number for two reasons. Number one is I'm always looking to uh, add membership to our organization of Entrepreneurs Network of Michigan.com, and that's one eight 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 four eight nine eight nine eight zero. But if you want to get a hold of Randy right direct, how do you uh, how how would you like that to happen, Randy? Uh, two ways. My number is three one three four nine two five five nine nine three one three four nine two five five nine nine. Or you can just shoot me an email at Randy D Wright at Gmail dot com. Randy D Wright at Gmail dot com, and I'll respond immediately. Mm-hmm. Well, I know. Uh I've had you speak for our group, and hopefully uh, you may be facilitating next uh, Tuesday on July 20th uh, for the meeting. And Zoom meetings, we purposely limit to just one hour so that uh, you got to eat lunch somewhere. <laughs> uh, we may eat lunch together soon in person, but for the time being, if you call in on the Zoom meetings, you're bound to get some great advice and have a chance to hear not only fluff stuff, but real stuff. And uh, uh, what you brought up, and I uh, always encourage people that once you've got an idea and you want to go like the Lone Ranger, it's you're making life too difficult. I like to joke about it, even the Lone Ranger needed a Tonto, okay? So uh, we, we are your Tontos, and what you just brought out is vital. That when you've got an idea, uh, what is the purpose of the idea? And most importantly, just because you've got an idea that sounds great, you have to have a process, and it's the process that makes it happen. <laughs> you know, uh, I, uh, everybody likes chocolate cake, but uh, isn't it more important to know how to make a good chocolate cake <laughs> versus just uh, one that looks like a chocolate cake? So, <laughs> and people like, like Randy, I've had speak to our Rotary Club and the Optimist Club, and they always... Uh, I want to stick around uh, after he's talked, uh, just to talk to him. And uh, Randy is uh, down to earth, and uh, he also does the uh, consultant. Uh, and I wondered if you take a minute or so, unfortunately, I know you're on a time schedule that's tight, is that uh, what are your thoughts about people that you should surround yourself with? That's a real good, that's a real good question. I, in order for you to go beyond the dream, to make your dream become a reality, you need to surround yourself with people who are high thinkers and high achievers. You need successful people that will challenge you and are going to hold you accountable. And then you need to learn and study from those who have paid the price to obtain their dream. Or how they sacrificed, how they overcame obstacles. Some of them went into debt. They were still rejection and criticism of family and friends and foes, but they made it. Mm-hmm. That's the part I like being a part of, of the entrepreneur network. I and other ones in the group, I learned from them. Everybody in the group has some type of special uh, gift or talent or business that, that they're involved in. And sometimes I just listen to glean the wisdom and knowledge of how they become successful, how some of the challenges they have faced. Even when I we were talking maybe about three or four weeks ago about the medicine, how it has changed. You know, you were telling me that when you had your pharmacy, maybe there was one medication that you could prescribe to somebody that could take care of three ailments or three conditions. But now you got to have a pill for everything. So if I was going into the medical business, I would want to talk to someone like you. I would want to learn, well, what are some of the things I need to know about medicine or medication or, you know, different things like that. So when you surround yourself with people who are high thinkers and high achievers, you can learn from them. And not just the good times. Mm-hmm. Two, of, two of my favorite people who I really like are uh, Walt Disney and J.C. Penney. Walt Disney was in prison seven times because of debt. 
uh, Charles Goodyear was rejected by his family friends. And then J.C. Penney, uh, when that Great Depression hit, he was $7 million in debt. And Mr. Kellogg, Dr. Kellogg set him up there in a, a fame asylum where he could just be away from everything and he had to regroup and, you know, uh, begin to reflect on his life. And he came out of that and rebuilt his company, J.C. Penney. Now it's a household name everywhere. Mm-hmm. So I want to encourage you today. Surround yourself with people. Find out who's doing what you want to do. Get around them. Ask questions. How did you? Don't tell them how great you are, but just say, hey, listen, I want to learn. How did you overcome this adversity? How did you bounce back after bankruptcy? And you'll be amazed. The people are, are, you know, will be more than apt to just say, okay, hey, I want to share this with you. Hmm. Well, you know, uh, I belong to the Optimist Club, and I encourage anybody that's listening, if you want to be my guest, uh, either at the Rotary Club and the Optimist Club, and there's also Kiwanis and so many great organizations. Those are the type of people that are giving type people. Those are the type of people that are, and some of them are very active in business, most of them are sort of semi-retired. And in the Optimist Club, we always finish up our meetings with what we call our creed. And one of the things that I uh, really endorse in, in our creed is uh, you should learn from the mistakes of the past. Don't, you know, say, oh, what was me and why did it happen? Learn from it and move on. And when you've got talented, motivational, successful people like Randy Wright, who's knowledgeable enough not to just verbalize ideas, but he can actually write them down and you can read it and you can reread it. And I cannot stress the importance of self-improvement. That's what our network group is all about. We have over 20,000 contacts all around the world because I've been doing this for close to half a century. So by all means, if you want to get more of a taste of Randy Wright, or better yet, why don't you consider his ebook and uh, tell the folks, how do they get Go Beyond the Dream? <laughs> Starting over yeah. the book. How did they do that? They can just easily go to Amazon.com, just type in, starting over again, put my name, starting over, and just put my name in, and, and it'll come pop right up. They can get it in an ebook form right away where they can read it, or they can get it in the pap- paperback, or it'll be sent right to their address. And I have a copy of you that I'm signing, and when I talk to you later, I'm going to uh, send you a copy of the book myself. All right, wow. Well. Wow, well, I uh, look forward to that for sure. Randy, uh, we'll talk again soon, and unfortunately, I'm up against what they call a hard break. So I have to take a break, and we'll be right back. And Mr. Randy on, keep on right on. <laughs> All right, take care. All right. Bye. <laughs> Family run for over 88 years, Prince Hardware has remained family-owned and operated. Friends Hardware is one of a kind. You'll find the newest products offered on TV at very competitive prices. You'll also find safety products, grab bars for bathrooms, battery-operated light switches, remote control devices that you can turn your lamps on or any electrical device. You don't have to run out there anymore. Just press the button. Better yet, just visit Friends Hardware located on Main Street at uh, and 11 and a half mile road. Uh, they're open every day. If you wish to call, it's 248-544-8111. That's 248-544-8111. Better yet, just visit. 11 and a half mile road and Main Street, Friends Hardware. Do you like snacks? Well, why don't you try the Ari Bakery folks that have now created three new flavors of gluten-free granolas. Maple vanilla, blueberry, and toffee chocolate. All sold in 16-ounce bags for just $4.99. All new is Ori's Cinnamon Pull-Apart 
made with Danish dough and rich cinnamon filling. It's great with coffee or milk and hard to stop eating. You will find all these items at the Ari Bakery Market on Farmington Road between I-96 and Plymouth Road in Livonia. Try it out. As Jackie Gleason used to say, how sweet it is. And how sweet it is to be with you. And uh, one of the things I pride ourselves on with the Entrepreneurs Network, aside from having meetings every other week, we're planning some evening events as well. So stand or sit by. We'd love to really uh, help you uh, enjoy the American dream. And as I like to say, monetize your ideas. The thing is, is that uh, I have a tagline for our entrepreneurs group is that if you want to percolate, you've got to circulate. So circulate with us. And I'm really excited about having a new sponsor. As a pharmacist, I uh, can tell you firsthand that uh, uh, fortunately we got so excited about all the new synthetic drugs that we forget how some of the classic drugs are still very, very important, including, believe it or not, this whole COVID uh, endemic that we're facing and trying to deal with. And uh, I'm pleased to uh, have them as a sponsor. And uh, they're Dennis Kaiser and uh, his uh, uh, CEO, uh, Dan Nichols, have come up with a formulation. They didn't do it themselves. They brought in some really top-notch scientists. They have local doctors that have endorsed Cofix RX, C-O-F-I-X. It's a nasal spray, and it contains povidine iodine, which is a derivative of the original iodine. Yes, that's still around. And you use iodine, as you know, for antiseptic and protection when you have a cut. And in the old days, in surgeries, they would use iodine as a way of like a shield to help the uh, the healing process. Cofix RX comes in a uh, nasal spray container, has eight sprays to it. And guess what? Even if you have not been vaccinated because you're either concerned about the safety or you're just reluctant to get shot in the arm. This is a nasal spray that 45 seconds after you spray, the effect lasts up to eight hours, a shield inside your nose, so it prevents you from getting the COVID virus and cold and flu and SARS. It's phenomenal, and I really am excited about being involved. And because of the demand being out there, we are looking for sales agents. And you don't have to be a super dynamic salesman. You ain't selling used cars. (laughs) If you have any connections in the healthcare field, doctors or what have you, you can earn some extra part-time income just by getting us in front of the appropriate people. I've been very successful in having a whole slew of health food stores. And if you'll call our toll-free number, 1-888-489-8980, I'll make sure we get the product out to your nearby health food store. Nutra Foods in Royal Oak has it. Zerbo's out in West Bloomfield has it. We can get it into any drugstore as well. In fact, some of the major chains have expressed an interest in having it available. I'm not in saying that this is the all-purpose, uh, safe approach to COVID, but boy, it certainly can save a lot of lives and a lot of aggravation, and it certainly gives you a protective measure. Think about it. Your nose actually is one of the most sensitive areas in terms of your uh, getting uh, uh, good stuff in your body and bad stuff. Why do you think allergists are uh, overwhelmed when it comes to the hay fever season? 
because <laughs> it's through the nose. Well, this is a protective shield sprayed in your nose that's safe. And in fact, anyone that's six years or older that can benefit from having this COVID spray. If you like more information, if you'd like to be involved in the distribution, my toll-free number is one eight 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 four eight nine eight nine eight zero. One eight 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 four eight nine eight nine eight zero. We have some very prominent doctors who uh, are involved in the production and have recommended to their patients. So I would not get myself involved as a pharmacist with something that would be a, a, just a sham or snake oil. This ain't snake oil. <laughs> so give me a call. And uh, I uh, encourage you to check with us on Tuesdays from 12 to 1 in our Zoom meetings, and we can talk more about it. I stressed before in our uh, program how vital it is to not only surround yourself with successful people, because they can make you a success. You surround yourself with a bunch of negative losers, so to speak, and you know what they'll do? They'll make you better losers. <laughs> we got enough losers already out there. So if you want to be a winner, hook up with a team like ours. And There's other great organizations I feel I have a, an extra little spice to it. And uh, one of my mentors and uh, done some actual personal coaching is Brian Tracy. He is uh, one of the top-notch motivational speakers in the world. He, is, uh, he started off very humbly. In fact, if it weren't for some rich guy that he knew in Canada, he wouldn't have been as prominent as he is. One of his books, among many, is a, a book titled Focal Point. And one of my goals is to try to share some of the top tips from these books. And you should do this on your own. Go to the library if you don't want to buy it. <laughs> but the point is, he makes it concise. And I uh, could probably spend hours and hours discussing some of his uh, major points. Uh, and uh, if uh, you want to get a flavor of it, I'd like to share... Uh, one part where he identifies steps to doubling your income and doubling your time off. And one of them is the importance of identifying the most important things that you have to do during the day. And you have to identify which are the most productive and eliminate any of them that it takes you away. We just talked to uh, Randy Wright, and one of the points he brings out in his book is that you should take every day and taking positive steps toward your goal. One of the keys to success is that you want to take every day and take one step at a time, but it's got to be to the end point that you're trying to reach. Don't go sideways. <laughs> right now, I gotta get off wise, <laughs> completely off, because uh, my time is over. But I do not want to leave without my favorite entrepreneurial thought, which is, if you really want to get anything done in life, you'll find a way, and if you don't, you'll find an excuse. And there is no excuse for not achieving your dreams and goals in America. Because it is the greatest country in the whole world. Remember, a goal is just a dream with a deadline.
WNZK has available a few good hours of airtime for a few good programs to serve their communities. Radio is better than ever in targeting an audience that listens to what...